Good morning. So we are heading today to Kiskit Camp Quantum Hackathon in Switzerland. So let's get going. Good morning. It is day one of the Kiskit Hackathon. We are in Switzerland. I arrived here last night. I flew into the Zurich airport, took an Uber to the IBM offices, hung out there for a bit, met a bunch of people. Then we took a bus uh, out here to this town called Muren. Today we're taking another gondola up, uh, up the mountain and uh, we're gonna be having the hackathon at Peace Gloria, which is this restaurant that was featured in this James Bond movie. But uh, there's apparently a Bond museum up there, it's all themed, and we're gonna spend the whole day today uh, hacking away. In the morning, we're gonna have team formation and pitches, spend the rest of the day hacking, have breakfast, lunch, and dinner up there, hang out, and then we'll continue that tomorrow morning. Okay, so we're a little lost. <laughs> I think we're going the right way. It's, you know, at least we get the view, even though we are a little lost. That's true. And uh, we're the late 9 a.m. So we took one gondola up because we were told to get to the peak. It's only one, but apparently we have to take a second gondola up. So we did the nice thrill walk without <laughs> anyone else. And now I'm gonna try and find the actual mountain and I hope there's still breakfast. What's your project Our first? Our project is Quantum Instagram, so it's like Instagram of the future where Instagram can take your picture and then figures out your internal emotional state represented by complex quantum bits and then exposes that to the world. So this is like the original image and what you want to <laughs> express to the world and then uh, you start getting some more stuff. Uh, so say that, oh no, he's a bit sad. We believe in the so we future, the emotions. quantum can reveal deep emotions that are behind sad. your picture. So, we use Kiske. <laughs> when... <laughs> Did you know we're at a Kiske? We found out that Kiske is an amazing tool <laughs> to work on our project. Do the sales pitch. <laughs> And so this is the, the actual circuit that we built it and so you have the superficial emoji and the emotion and then it gets in and out it gives you the deep emotions that are behind uh, the picture. So, so this is what it looks like. Ooh. 
So this is like, you know, speculative, many, many, many emotions in, in one picture. So it goes from the initial state and it gets the noise, which is more or less the different emotions, sadness, fear, etc. You're going to make texting even harder. Because now you're going to have like, (laughs) what quantum interpretation of this emoji am I going to (laughs) have? So this is Kissagram. So we're going to keep using Kisskit and develop our project, but we will have our own Kissagram in the future. That's it. (laughs) Amazing. So in the beginning, we want to implement a quantum okay. so we like So we have like Alice well. wants to uh, send a, her secret to Bob via a quantum network, quantum channel. So the main big part here is to simulate the quantum channel, which is we have quantumly and non-local, only using uh, the classical, and here we use the PCP uh, socket uh, program. So it was a big challenge. But then we managed to uh, simulate the quantum uh, channel. What's your project? Let's unpack our swag. I'm so excited. It's an amazing sweater, which is awesome because it's actually kind of cold here in the mountains. And what else do we have? The Kiss Kit logo bag with Kiss Kit socks, umbrella. That's awesome. Ooh. Actually has the logo on it. What else? Stickers going straight on my laptop. Lots of stickers. And bag tag. Ooh. Another kiss kit sticker. And a IBM. <laughs> bag tag an ibm research t-shirt so thanks to chris who let me know on twitter to call him when i was in the ibm office and now i also have an ibm research shirt i'm ready <laughs> from lisbon and then you're from Lisbon. And you are all Kiskit Yes. We're speeding up uh, Kiskit, and uh, there's some issues there that we see. We've been twerking, profiling some circuits for a long time, and we just started investigating mm-hmm. what we could do to help. So, one of the issues is that the quantum object that you get out is very, very large. Mm-hmm. And so, that just takes a lot of time and a lot of you know space, and passing it to the API once you get up to 20 qubits is huge. We started building out the tools just to make performance profiling easier for everyone. So one of our big uh, deliverables mm-hmm. is creating a memory and size profiler that everyone uh, can use if they're using Kiskit. They don't have to install everything; it's going to be built in. And now we have like a standardized method uh, for you know everyone to look at their performance and help them. Improve. So I wanted to cover a few questions I've gotten in my Twitter DMs and Instagram about the quantum camp. Um, A big question I've gotten is, how do you actually get to go to the hackathons? So it's an invite only event. Uh, So if you haven't been invited yet, what I would recommend doing is start getting involved with the KissKit community. Work on some projects uh, with KissKit, post them online, uh, talk to the IBM folks on Twitter. They're very open to help you out with questions. Join the Slack community. Just become active with the KissKit community. Also, if your school is an IBM Q school, uh, I believe there's some universities that have access to the network. Uh, talk to the professors and the students that are running those, and uh, that way you'll have a bigger chance of getting an invitation to the event.
Another question I got, do you need to know Python or Qiskit to participate? I would say you don't have to. There's a few projects you could do um, using just the visual circuit composer in the IBM Quantum Experience, so it's not fully necessary, but I think that knowing Python and knowing at least a little bit of Qiskit is really recommended to make the most of your hackathon experience. And uh, last question I have is, what if I don't have a project or I know anyone? So that's totally fine. Uh, I went alone and you'll meet people on the bus, you'll meet people at the hotels. And uh, what happens before the event is we all get added to a Slack group and we can start talking about projects there. There'll be a GitHub open as well with a bunch of issues. IBMers will contribute project ideas.